Hey, hey what's, what's up, up guys and welcome, welcome to UW Madison's RI3 Days. We're here to talk to you about our day two progress. Uh, so kicking it off with our intake, we have our assembled intake on the robot that you can see in front of you there. Um, so it's mounted on our final chassis and currently being handed over to programming to work on uh, dialing in our final velocities and also holding that arm at the right position. Um, the one thing it's missing right now is we're gonna add a little bit of a polycarb ramp along the back here uh, where we had a second set of wheels yesterday and that will help us make sure that the ball doesn't get stuck on our bumpers but rolls fully up into our robot. So then moving on from there, we have our shooter, which you can also see in front of you there. So that is nearing the end of manufacturing and we're getting excited to put that on the robot too. A couple things that still need to be done are placing the plexiglass that will be along the face of the hex tube or hex shaft at the back of the shooter. After it is, it is done, we'll be mounting it to the sides of our bot so that we can start testing our shooter in its final configuration for us. A couple things to note that today we ran a couple, more like multiple different tests to see what different wheels would interact with. We changed different sizes. It seemed like this eight inch wheel, single flywheel worked the best for us. As you can tell right now, we do not have a hopper. We will be having a gravity fed Hopper. Our initial idea was to have an agitator in between in the center of our bot to be able to feed in all the balls directly to our shooter in a fast and efficient way. Unfortunately, we don't think we'll have enough time, but that certainly will be something we'll look into tomorrow if we do have time. But for teams looking for ideas on how to feed their shooter, agitators are a great idea. On top of that, we also thought about expanding hoppers uh, 254 was a little bit of uh, inspiration for us when we saw this. We saw the reveal come in day one. So we've been thinking about the design, but we just haven't gotten around uh, to designing our hopper yet. Moving on, Will will we'll be talking about the climber design. Hey guys, I'm Will. While our climber is still in manufacturing, I'm going to show you how the basic concept works through our CAD model. Um, the design takes advantage of the way that a high climb is defined in the rules, where all you need to do is get your bumper above the mid rung. And so the way we accomplish that is by inverting the robot. As you can see in the model, we're, we're going to start by backing the tank drive up into the edge of the pole. Uh, this will allow us to attach onto the rungs without taking up too much space to allow our teammates to climb. After that, once this pole is fixed onto the end, uh, we have a joint down at the bottom, which will allow our chassis to fold up into the arm. After that, as you can see, we have these two little poles, which will provide leverage against the vertical posts. We have a sprocket here to turn, um, to, to transfer torque into those poles, allowing us to then perform the motion of inverting the robot, as we can see here. And after this, and after it's fully inverted, all we need to do is re-extend the joint, and this gets our bumpers fully above the middle rung. If I can show that correctly. Yep, as you can see, fully above the mid rung, and that counts for a high climb in a pretty unique way. Hey guys, make sure to watch more videos on Fun Robotics Network and make sure to like and subscribe. And you can also check in for more of our progress updates at the First Alum UW Instagram account. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. First Team SolidWorks is free for you. Design in 3D, build your robot, and gain the career-ready skills 80% of employers look for when hiring engineers. Get SolidWorks for your entire team when you go to solidworks.com first. Founded by FIRST alumni, FRCTs understands what teams need. High quality apparel fast. From t-shirts to jackets and more, with a free 14-day turnaround and faster options available, you can join 200 plus teams who are already saving. Get a free quote by scanning the QR code or going to frcts.com.